you know, I probably should have said this earlier, but cognitive fitness is just like physical fitness. And if I was to say to you, you know, is is the is the Olympic marathon champion more or less fit than the Olympic 100 meter sprinter? It's a very difficult question to answer, right? They're both really fit, but one will always win the 100 meters and the other one will always win the marathon. Um, so clearly they've got a different kind of fitness. And that's why we don't measure fitness using a single number. We don't say, you know, my fitness is 92 because you can't you can't sum up physical fitness with a single number. And mental fitness, which is essentially cognition, is exactly the same. You can't say, and this is why the whole concept of, of IQ, in my opinion, is 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 completely uh, bogus because you can't sum up somebody's cognitive abilities using a single number because some people have very strong memories but they're not very creative some people are very good at solving problems but they're not very attentive uh, some people can be very good at perceptual attention and mental rotations and, and not as good uh, at visual spatial processing it doesn't mean that there, there's something wrong with you any more than the fact that I'm the fact that I'm not an Olympic 100 meter sprinter champion doesn't mean that there's necessarily anything wrong with my fitness it's just not my uh it's not my main strength at the moment 